Hey, happy Saturday, everybody. Well, it's Easter weekend, but I'm still out in the shop. I had to come out this morning and paint some of uh, those guards for the BX. So I just finished painting those and I got the uh, all the other shore footers painted, so they're ready to be shipped out, I'd say midweek. I'm going to give them a couple of more days to, to dry out good. And uh, so I'm going to go do the mod there on the hoist above the uh, tracker CNC table. And uh, I did put the clean out on after yesterday, like I mentioned in the last video. So let's go over and we'll have a look. Yeah, I'll just, instead of starting and stopping or stopping and starting, I'll just keep, it on, keep her going. So yeah, that's my next mod up there. I'm going to get rid of that extension cord. And I'm going to put the, uh, the reel up there. I also going to instead of using this here to pull the, the thing back and forth, I found this down in the shed, so I machined a little collar for it, and uh, I'm going to tie that rope onto the hoist, and I'll use that for pulling it back and forth rather than pulling on the wire, because I can't be very healthy for that wire to be pulling on that wire. What else? Oh yeah, there's the nine sets ready to go. They're all sold. We're starting a new batch Monday and they're basically half sold now. So if you want some uh, shore footers, you better uh, get your order in ASAP because we do, well right now we're doing nine a week, nine sets a week because it takes time to build those buggers. There's a lot to it. And that's a bunch of tail light guards we have, or signal light guards that we have sold for the BX. So they're paint, so they're going out next week. There is the outfit that we're going to use to power up the hoist instead of the long extension cord. I, I actually have two. I have a smaller one than this, but when I looked at the rating, it was only rated at uh, 7 amps. And that particular hoist takes 7.1 amps with a load. So this one here is really good at 13 amps. So I'm going to go with this one. I get a, I get a laugh at people because no matter what I do here, there's, there's always somebody who's going to say it's not going to work or something like that. Somebody said the other day, these things aren't intended to be used for what I'm doing. Well, obviously not because they said that the brushes in it are going to burn out because it's, it's not meant to carry a load. Well, I totally disagree with that. Matter of fact, this is probably safer than the extension cord. It's got a circuit breaker built into it. And, and anyway, if it gives up, it gives up. But at the same time, you know, my first choice bef before this came about, because I didn't even think about this, this is the viewers that thought about this, which I thought was an ingenious idea. Uh, the first thing I thought of was a quality cord. But it, have you ever seen one of those quality cords hanging for a while from a ceiling? They're not so coily for very long. So this still is the best choice and I'm sticking to it. What else did we do? Yesterday evening, because I had a lot on the go here yesterday, I decided to uh, put the clean out in. There is the clean out down here. I'll give you a, a better view of that now in a second. So what I did is I just made a template and uh, I put it over there and I used a little pneumatic zip tool and I cut it out. And there it is there. And it works quite well. Let me see. And it's gasketed. And there it is. And you can just see there's only a little bit of dust down there. So it's after doing a fair bit of cotton, yet there's only dust. So that's pretty cool. So it's easy to clean because it's elongated. You can get a vacuum in there if need be. And uh, let's see here now. And it's on a little bit of a cam system there. Try to do this now with one hand now. Like that. Like that. And of course uh, it's in there very tight. So yeah, I'm kind of kind of pleased with the way that one worked out. I would have liked to have the clean out that that had the oval shape of the uh, the ductwork, but I couldn't get one locally, and I didn't want to order it. So 
That one there cost me 15 bucks. If you ordered the right one for it, you'd wait two or three weeks and it'd be probably $80 by the time it got here. So this is gonna do the job regardless. Um, there's not much new to report. I had intended on doing our sign today, uh, putting the LED lights in it. I gotta put it back in it and change a few things over, but uh, I'm not gonna get at that today, so. I think what I'll do now is I'll start making up some brackets to mount this, and I'll uh, get it put up, and we'll uh, see what it looks like when it's up. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you too. We have another rack that we put together yesterday. So we got some guards and stuff put on that. So that's quite handy now. I can get the guards off my toolbox at least. A lot of people who have ordered this stuff is uh, on Facebook and they're getting a kick out of seeing, seeing bits and pieces of it being cut and built, which I think is unique. It's nice to see, you know, where your products are coming from and what goes into them. I am the only one that's building them, so, you know, if anybody's mad, they gotta be mad with me. <laughs> but no, it's, uh, everything is done by me here. Nobody else is touching it. So I take full responsibility type of thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back at this now and uh, I'll be back in a minute. So let's size this up. I guess you could say that this is meant to be hung that away so you can pull the cord straight down. Well, that's not gonna work because we need the cord to go that way, sideways. So it's gonna to have to be mounted that way. So the cord can come straight out of it with no resistance. Should try to fix that dent while I got it there. Yeah, so hmm, maybe I can turn that Snap-on logo around too. Take the screws out and see what happens. Folks, you've heard me say it, say it, and I'm gonna say it again. I like design on the fly. Keeping it simple, that's what it's all about. A bit of two inch by one eight flat bar. Goes here, screws on to the roof, or the ceiling, I should say, not the roof. The ceiling, now, oh, yeah, to the average person that might not seem strong, but, 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 when we make up these gussets, and we put these gussets on both sides, now we got strong. And I think that's as much as I'm gonna do with that when I get it up there, I think that's gonna be plenty strong. So I tried to turn this around, but the clock position won't work. So we got to do what, what we got to do with. You're out. Just briefly. Oh yeah. Anyway, I decided I'm gonna bolt this on here. Originally I was going to just weld it, but I said, you know, if I ever got to get up there and take this down to repair it or something, mm -hmm. Be better to unbolt it. Just uh, just two bolts here, as opposed to taking down the whole bracket up there. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. It's so, way better. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not putting too many great pains into this. No. This is kind of just like a foolish old job for me. This is, <laughs> you know, it's uh, is what I refer to as a non-thinking job. Yeah, but a necessary one. Yeah. Well, no other way of sticking it to the ceiling. Velcro. Yeah. I don't think it'll last. No, I don't think it'll last. Somebody asked me one time how I got them beams up there. Mm -hmm. I said industrial Velcro. Go on, he said it must be so strong. <laughs> and then we got on to talking about other things and I never told him the truth. We never got back to it. But then again, look at the commercials all the year, you know, on and on about that stuff. They showed the beams. Remember Crazy the, glue. I don't know. And Buddy, Buddy glue on his helmet to the, yeah. to the beam and then, yeah. you know, haul himself up and then he over a skyscraper. There's only one person I'd let do that, and that's your mother. And she wouldn't even do that. You wouldn't try it? Uh, no, I wouldn't try it. <laughs> You'd be crazy to try the crazy Yeah, it might have been some trickery going on there. Yeah, I think so, yeah. There's something not right about that. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing there now. So I'm gonna go get me welting. I gotta go welting. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna welt that together, and then I'm gonna give it a little bit of spray, and then I'm gonna put it up. Correct. As I say, simple as can be, there it is. Not much to look at, but it should work. Let's go put it up. Well, it's done. So let's go have a look. Have a look-see. I turned off the LED lights so you can be able to see it better. There you go. 
there she be right there of course there's still a few cords around it because of the LED lights I uh, I wanted them hanging a bit lower than the uh, than the ones on the ceiling obviously and my little bullet he's looking pretty good so I can I can pull it doing his job. He hauls it back a little bit, but it won't haul it back when there's weight on it. And then a fella can get hooked at this. See, now it's staying on its own. So, we'll pull it back. There it is. It's done. Another job completed. Like I say, you can't help the wires, you got to see wires. And that's it. But it was a good idea for the, the two fellas that came up with it. And I appreciate the, the idea. I like good ideas. And I use them. And yes, folks, you were right. I have to look for casters for that. I got to, uh, I got to mod that out. There's no doubt about it. You can't be dragging that around with no casters on it. So there it is, folks. Nothing to it. I take a picture of that. If I can take a picture of it. There you go. Okay, picture taken. Anyway. I have just been informed that I need to be somewhere. So, and I need to be somewhere fairly fast, like 40 minutes from now, I have to be there. So I guess I better get going. Bonus time. <laughs> yeah, bonus time. Time is a quarter, 10 to nine in the night. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's great. What I get into, eh? Great. One thing leads to another to another. Anyway, the uh, shore flitters, to get that bend, takes a lot of force. That's right. Okay. And it was all this one could do to get it half bent. Oh, yeah. So what I used to do is I would, because this is electric over hydraulic, this one, this is not a, a hand pump sissy thing this is a men's okay <laughs> a men's press <laughs> you just push the button a lazy men's press okay <laughs> but it's made by interpack very expensive i bought it at an auction but i made ramp or made made ramp made the the press and of course you know we modified it and crucified it and we got this on there now to lift the big right. uh, presses there, the big breaks down, and, and you know, it's great, right? We get the winch on it for lifting up the bed and everything. Everything's going good, but with these, with these uh, shore footers, to get the right bend and a good consistent bend, I used to have to come down halfway with it, you know, press it as much as it could press until it got up to 10,000 pounds here. And then what I have to do is get a bottle jack and put between here and here and jack it down to rest with the two of them. Mm takes a lot of time to do that. So lo and behold, we had to do, we had to make a trip to the city this evening on another matter. And I said, well, you know, Kathy, you know, Kathy says, well, let's go over to Princess Isle Paul. So uh, Kathy, I don't want to go over to Princess Isle, I'm tired of Princess Isle. No, I like to go over. So anyway, she forced we me. We went over. We went over. <laughs> you know, like a good marriage is all about sacrifice. That's right. Right? That's right. So I sacrificed it. That's right. Right? And you went over. And I went over, right? Now, through no fault of my own, I was walking along and I heard these four little voices. By me, by me, by me, by me. Wow. And I said, because you said something. I said, now hang on now. There's something talking to me. By me, by me, by me, by me. Lo and behold, just look. And I had to buy the family of them. Just look. How many is in a family? Four. Oh, yes. 
the wheels. Casters. Oh, same thing, isn't it? Oh. Uh -huh. Casters. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Not casters. 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 Right? They're man's yeah, casters. Yeah, that's a, they're not casters. They're casters. They're casters. Yeah, right? Okay. Right. Okay, yeah. So, so anyway, you're about to go home. So like I was going along and just minding my own business, getting ready to go up to the cache, and I heard, hey, have a look down there. You said, what, did you I hear said, something? <laughs> I said, you hear that? You said, no, I never heard nothing. Have a look down there. And when I looked, well, lo and behold, this is what I saw on the bottom shelf over by hydraulics. <laughs> right? That's right, because it was right past the casters. And then I said, I know what that is. Mm -hmm. That's a cylinder for a press. Whoa. So, this is the one that came off. But the ram in this is only half the diameter. Of the ram and this. That's right. So then I said, well, he's pretty short, and of course, that's not fully retracted. So I said, bugger on that, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I said, you know what? How much is it? $159.99. So I said, I'm going to buy that, and I'm going to see if I can get that to work on the press. Now, with this one here, this took two hoses, because this don't only have power down, it got power pulling up, which I really didn't need. Are you paying attention? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> which one? I'm paying attention. You I look like you're like... dozing off. Well, I'm not dozing off. I was absorbing. I was taking it all in. Well, I, you know, like, I don't know, you know. It's like you weren't with the program, to be honest with you. Really? I'm yeah. here, so I must be with the program. <laughs> Anyway, so when I hook this one up to do a little test, it's got two ports as well. Lo and behold, it wouldn't work at all. Lo and behold. I said, boy, I was disappointed. Because I, like, I had dreams of this working. Dreams. 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 Wet dreams. Dreams. Because it's hydraulic fluid in it. Wet dreams. Anyway, turned around. And I disconnected one hose. Zzz, went out. Ooh. Well, I said, now, sure, that's no good because it don't have a return. So I let go of the lever here, put it back in neutral. Zzz, it went up. So I was a, a great big dirty ugly spring in that. Ooh. These are one of the things that you, you let your buddy take apart while you're gone to get a coffee. You're gone on a coffee run. Wow. If it needs seals, you let your buddy take it apart. <laughs> if it needs any uh, internal work. Yes, that's right. Yeah, right? And then when you come back, pretty good chance he's not going to be here. He's going to be on his way down to the hospital in an ambulance, and you get to drink two coffee. Hmm. Works out perfect every time. So, this is what we have. The problem is, is this one screwed in to this block. So what I did is I put... Oh, you're there. making me dizzy. There it is. I was looking for that. <laughs> I put that right, there. Right in front of your snake. And I put this up here like that. And I put a pad mm -hmm. in there. That's right. A short footer, you know, a, a one that's flat. Yep. It, it was criminal, it was that easy. Yeah. I said, oh man, just too cool for school. So this works. So now. Seeing as only early in the evening, 9 o'clock, I'm going to take this plate down, put it in the middle, and with the fly cutter, I'm going to take the treads out of that and make it big enough so this will fit right down in the hole. And I can put that big nut back on it, and hook her up, and I got my press exactly the way I want her now for $160 plus tax. You're welcome. Welcome for what? Well, if I didn't drag you over to Prince's Isle, oh, well, that's true you too. Go to Prince's that's Isle, true. Yeah. You wouldn't have all of it. I kicking and screaming. 
That's right. You know, but I, you know, like I understand the sacrifices that a well, you know that right. a husband has to make, right? Exactly. Maybe next time you won't put up so much of a resistance. Well, I don't know. You know, it depends on what kind of a mood I'm in, right? But anyway, this is a much better system. This system, see, this system here, Interpac, this was designed to go on site. There's a little handle on this. You take this with your cylinder. And this is all a quick change. See? You go and you jack something up and whatever. I, I really don't need it like that. This is more, I'm going to use the word, because I, I heard it on the news morning, beneficial. <laughs> I, I said, if I can get that out before I forget it. Now, don't ask me to spell it. Beneficial. Beneficial. That's the word for today. Yeah. Alrighty. And what I like about this too is it got a set screw in there and you can remove this here and I can make adapters and stuff for it. Uh -huh. Adapters. Okay. That's another another big word. Mm -hmm. Right? So well, there's I'm there's you, you're on a roll here tonight. Like this got lots of pisomologies to it. Another one. Okay. Now I promise you folks, this is the end of the video. Right? Right. Bye. Bye. Just a little short video for you folks. Hope you have a, a good day the rest of the weekend. Enjoy your Easter hunt tomorrow and uh, Easter egg hunt. And we'll see you next week again. So you guys take care and God bless.